Hello, this is a video about shifting. It's the first in a series of videos that I'm going to post about different kinds of shifts. So I'm starting with your basic shift uh, and I'm gonna use fourth position as the place to shift to. Uh, of course, you can practice these kinds of exercises to other positions, but I'm gonna start with fourth. So the first thing uh, I'm gonna start with is just simple one finger to one finger kinds of shifts. And I wa wanna walk you through uh, some of the ideas of what makes a successful shift. So you can see these exercises here, these fourth position shifts. There's a PDF to download. Um, and it's gonna just do one finger to one finger. And before you even kind of read the rules, if you wanna just work on doing very slow. <laughs> That's great. Make sure you know where this is. We know that there's a harmonic there. We want to be really in tune. So part of the idea of these exercises is not just to go through the mechanics of how do I get there, but to have a lot of consistency. I recommend that you do each set of notes. So in other words, the first two bars three times in a row really well before you move on. Don't just bomb through them, but really use them as a percentage training exercise. If you can do them three times in a row, then you try them five times in a row. So some of the ideas that I have written down as the sort of rules is we're going slow, um, but we're gonna accelerate now. So that was sort of just all slow. To make a shift sound really good, I wanna start slow and speed up. I'm trying to start very slow, sort of almost gummy slow, like slower than you might in a piece, but this is an exercise. It's also a good place to do some vibrato. And if you want an added challenge, you can do your slow wide wah-wah vibrato while you're doing these shifts as well. If your vibrato is not really making an even wah-wah sound, leave it out for right now. So you wanna keep your bow going an even speed, even though your left hand's gonna speed up. And that's hard, That's that can be really tricky to go different speed over here. You can practice that without the bow, even though you can't hear where you're riding. For speed, slow and go. Sometimes it's helpful to think one and two and two, and to kind of do a rhythmically speeding up. Your thumb should be arriving in the curve of the neck, and it should really not be underneath the curve, it should really be in the corner of the neck. When you do a one-to-one -one shift, it's pretty simple, it's easy to go first finger in fourth position, but you'll notice the way I'm holding my hand here, where I'm bunched back onto the corner of my, my first finger, I can't really get to my fourth finger without going around. So when I start doing my fourth finger shifts in particular, I'm coming way around the cello. My shoulders coming underneath the cello, my elbows coming forward, this part of my wrist, my, my forward facing part of my wrist is coming forward and I'm being very careful not to hit into the cello. In order to play my fourth finger on the, on the fourth position, I'm in front of, of the shoulder of the cello here. I've got to have my hand up, which means I have to have my elbow forward and up before I go, because what I don't want to do is I don't want to be sitting back here and maybe here's a, my fourth position. I don't need to be under here so much. I'm going to fall off the cello. When you do that kind of thing, it usually means that you're not around the instrument enough this way. So when I'm doing fourth finger, I want to set up especially for C string fourth finger. Remember, you can tilt your cello, that helps. So also these exercises are a great place to use all the different things that have been talked about technically. Tilt your cello for the different strings, make sure your bow angle is really straight, work on vibrato if that's something that you're working on. You can do really long notes. just have the shift in between the long vibrato notes. So you can really use these for a number of different techniques and see if you can combine them. 